Hello everyone, I'm Frank DeCesare. I'm the producer and director of the new short film, Blacksmith. And if you've been following my rushes that I've been posting to social media lately, then the guy to my right here should be no stranger to you. This here is Rob Flurry. Spindletop is home to the sites and artifacts that keep the... Shot two, take seven. Mark. Hello everyone, I'm Frank DeCesare. I am, I am currently showing my <laughs> cord. I've been doing this for uh, 42 years now. I started when I was 13 and uh, went from a hobby and finally turned it into my principal way of making a living. If you look at the movie, it's a structure, it's chronological. It starts from the end and it's in the end and from one goes to 10. And it's a linear approach. Each part, each segment is separated. Uh, you see a video of the images and then it stops to a freeze frame and then the next stage starts. So, it's a very straightforward uh, approach. Uh, that was good? Yep. Yeah. That's good. Awesome. Obviously, well, the key here is you're not going to break the fourth wall. You're just going to bother looking at the lens. No, no. I'm going to be looking at the metal. Okay. This metal's going to be hot. I can't look anywhere else. Okay. And I'm joined by the subject of the movie. Rob Flurry, he is the blacksmith here at the Spindletop Gladys City Boomtown Museum. Rob, shot one, take three, mark. Being allowed to work on projects such as this is a really incredible experience. You get to know your crew, your talent, very, very intensely. Mm -hmm. When you strike the match, mm -hmm. okay, go back where you yeah, right there. Mm, there. I want to be able to see a flame. Okay. So let it burn for a little bit. This okay. is this is really the end of the line. So probably about 15%, maybe 20%, depending on how much I've done at the forge. By the time you get to the grinder, it's, the product's almost done. Almost done, exactly. Excellent. Hey, baby, how's it going? Mm. <laughs> Rob, Excuse me. I'll turn it on for about six seconds and turn it back off again. Rob, shot six, take one. Cut. Because it's almost there to Yeah, I had to simulate. I had to simulate hitting it. Your most primary tool here in the forge, Rob, your hammers. This is where all the action takes place. It's where everything gets started. And I've got three basic hammers that we're using in this production. Rolling. Rob, shot six, take two. Mark. Hold it. <laughs> Rob, pick it up. I say action, you're gonna wait two seconds and just drop it right on there. Ready? Actually, uh, I've got a lot of swords in uh, This is a short sword. <laughs> We're not the carrying Thank you very much for the Um <laughs> Yeah.
years ago, before I was a journalist, I was a high school English teacher. And this was up in Massachusetts. And I worked with a cooperating teacher, a great guy right here. And he showed a bunch of classic short films. And one of them, you can see this online, and I urge you to see it, because that, this film was the inspiration behind the glass, and it was a film called Glass, G-L-A-S, by a Dutch filmmaker named Bert Hansen. I remember being in the back of the book, and oh my god, this is, this is extraordinary. I'd like to film something like this. And action. Yeah. <laughs> 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 